Okay, guys, for y for y'all that that haven't, uh, you know, we've already built the machine. If you'll go back, if you hadn't looked at the videos on uh, Let's Get Real that I posted, that, that's what the machine's all about. Okay, that's a vertical balance golf machine. And I talk about the shoulders, the hips, and the knees, and the ankles. They all got to be stacked, okay? That's neutral. That's in balance. I uh, also talk about there's no lateral movement. There's none of this crap going on. Uh, there's no there's no swinging from the inside out and all that junk. Uh, so y'all go back and look at those vids because uh, if you hadn't, you're gonna be kind of lost at where, what we're doing. <clears throat> okay. Now, uh, John Don uh, Donahue asked me <clears throat> about a year ago when I did this. He said, "Well, okay, Bill, what do you do it when you get to the top?" <clears throat> and uh, my answer was just like everybody else's, you know. Well, John, just let your arms drop. <laughs> well, that's kind of stupid on my part. So, John, I apologize for it. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what you need to do to get the club back to the ball and get the club swinging, your arms swinging. Remember, we're upper core, okay? Everybody wants to swing their arms horizontal. Our arms do not work that way. They work this way. They're in a socket, up and down, up and down. Hey, this one does the same thing. That's the up and down in, in golf. And our arms do that. Our torso controls the horizontal, okay? It moves the shoulders on the horizontal. So, to make a long story short, John, here's how you, once you get to the top, this is what happens. This is what you gotta do. You know, I always talked about the hitting mentality. That's the number one cause of everybody's bad shots because they'll get up here and they want to hit the ball. They want to hit at it. What makes them want to hit at it is real simple. They'll take the club back with very little sh shoulder turn and their hands outrun the shoulder turn and they got to come back with the hands first and that's where the hitting mentality comes in, okay? We're upper core, remember that. So what we wanna do when we take the club away, <clears throat> get neutral and we take it like this, <clears throat> you get those, get your shoulders to where they're turned about like this where it's look, looking you know, I got my shoulders turned 90 degrees. I'm not down here straining, okay? That's another thing. You need to stand a little bit straighter with vertical balance golf. You don't need to be all bent over. So, get that club up, okay? It's up in here. I'm looking back at you. The ball's way down here. Now, how do I get to the ball? Well, you just don't drop your arms. The arms are the farthest away from this ball, so they have got to be moving the fastest. Okay, in order to do that, take your club, don't hurt yourself. You're going, when you do this, you're gonna have a little bit of weight on your right side, but your shoulders are gonna be turned 90 degrees and just hit the ground. Just hit the ground. Hit the ground. Okay, now, once you start doing that, you put in this. See what I'm saying? It's all it's all got to be a blended motion, but this has got to start first because it's got to get back to the ball first. It's got to go down to get to the ball. The only way to do it is to do it as fast as you can from, from right here, from the back swing. Come down. Hear that whip? That is a free swinging club. Okay. From this side, it looks like this. Kind of violent, ain't it? See what I'm saying? There's a lot of speed there, and you'll just have to work with it and time it up. But just don't let your arms drop. Drive them down. 
use your upper core. That's what upper core golf is all about. Talk to y'all later. Bye.